<clears throat> okay, you remember when Jesus said, that kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We are, a lot of people talk about heaven. Heavens, you can find and talk about even the kingdom of heaven. So it's all good. I'm not, I'm not saying there ain't a heaven, all right? Please understand. <clears throat> but a lot of people say, okay, when we get to heaven, okay, you can say that too. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Got no problem with that. But what, when we talk about faith, okay, heaven is the kingdom of God, right? God rules in heaven. Can we say that? And there's nobody else ruling there. Now, faith is living here like you're living there. That's all faith is. That's a simple definition. In other words, how will you live in heaven? You're going to live healed. You're going to have all your needs met. You're not going to want for anything. There's going to be no sorrow, no tears, and all that, all that stuff. That's, that's the way it is in heaven. Amen. Faith is living that way here. Amen. Bottom line. Faith is not questioning. See, that's one of the things that we've got to realize because people don't realize. You know, the Bible says very clearly that we have the mind of Christ. The Bible says very clearly, and you know all things. You say, well, I don't know all things. No, you do. You just don't know you know them. Why? Because they're in here. <clears throat> and you have not yet accessed that to bring it into having your mind renewed. Because to have your mind renewed, you have to have it renewed to the Word of God. When it's renewed to the Word of God, then everything of the mind of Christ starts to flow out because you know the parameters, you know the principles, you know his thoughts, his, his logical process. Because spiritual logic is not natural logic. Spiritual logic says, if you want to prosper, man, you know, just get all you can, no matter who it hurts. Uh, natural logic says that. Spiritual logic says, oh, uh, I, I want to prosper so I can help others, so I'm going to sow. I'm going to give. See, that makes no sense. Right? Not, from a, not from the natural way of thinking about things. But you have to realize, you are here, not just as people who are trying to make it to heaven and hoping you hold on long enough to get there. You are here as ambassadors, you are here as representatives of Jesus Christ. You are here in his stead. And because of that, you have to speak the way he speaks. Now, if I am his representative, now see, you have to understand, when I'm here like this, I'm his representative speaking for him to you. Now, most people, not most, many, have the idea that I'm here to represent you before God. Well, if that were true, I'd be doing this. But I'm not doing that. I'm facing you. What does that mean? I'm here to represent him. Now, if I represent him, who is he? He is God. He is God and Jesus being God in the flesh. And I'm to represent the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Is that right? Yeah. So I represent him. So if I'm going to represent him, I cannot lean to my own understanding. Amen. Do you understand? If I'm going to represent him, I can only say what he has or would say. How do I know what he would say? It would be in keeping with what he has said. He cannot say something different than what he has said. He will not alter the thing that has gone out of his mouth. You got that? And Jesus shows us the fullness of the Father. Yeah, but the Old Testament, stop right there, did not show us the fullness of the Father. It showed us the failure of man to walk with God. The New Testament shows us and gives us an example of the man, Christ Jesus, who was divine in nature but laid down his divinity and his access to divinity so that he could show us what a man filled with the Spirit of God in right relationship with God could walk like and look like. Yeah. So if we are here, it is to walk like him, talk like him, act like him, be him to the people that need our help. So we're not here to go, oh, God, that's so pitiful. No, we're here to say, today's the day. Today's the day. Amen? See, people mistake sympathy for compassion. See, sympathy says, oh, you poor thing. I wish there was something I could do. Compassion says, oh, you poor thing. Let me help. But you have to know that you can help. To know that, you have to know that you have the power to help. To have the power to help means that you have the Holy Spirit in you because he is the power of the helper. And so he will help you in any situation there. So when you lay hands on a sick, he's helping by supplying the power and doing whatever. But you have to be the mouthpiece. 
And you have to set the standard. If you waver, he will waver. Why? Because he has to. He cannot go beyond what you will let him do through you. If that were true, if he could do, listen carefully, if God could do anything, he would have, he would have got you saved a lot, lot way before you did. He was waiting on you to agree with him so he could get you saved. Do you understand that? So we have to realize that we are here to represent him, to speak for him. That means that, I, as I said, I can only say what he has said. See, that's what Jesus did. Jesus, every time he met up with the devil, what did he say? It is written. It is written. You know why? Because he knew that word. See, we got too many people speaking for Jesus that don't know his word. And they, they misrepresent him. And so if I'm going to stand here, see, I cannot stand here. Okay. Since I don't represent you in, that this case, in, in this situation, I represent God. He sent me here to speak to you. That's what I'm doing. I'm representing him. I'm representing him through Jesus Christ by the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. So based on that, then if I speak to you, I cannot, now I will speak in human words, but I can't say what humans would say. Why? Because I'm representing God. So I have to speak for God. So I can only say what God would say, which means you're not going to hear things that man would say. Does that make sense? So because I represent him, I can only say what he has said or would say or is in keeping with what he has said. 